So, one of these days, maybe I'll bring in my sacrificial dagger, okay? So you got the God's head there, you're going to have bliss written here, and then out of stone, it comes down in this, it's almost like a shovel-type look, okay? So I have this big thing in my hand, okay? And what I would do, you're alive, no anesthetics, nothing, I would take the dagger, plunge it right into his chest, okay? And then I would twist it to find in between the rib cage, bring it over this way, okay? Then I bring it back through and down this way so I have an opening, rip open the rib cage, go in, grab his heart. Okay, like the Temple of Doom type idea. Ow. And if it's still beating, if it's still pulsating, that meant that there would be good stuff going on for the Empire in the future. If not, totally in trouble. Okay? Now we would do bodies, a thousand, a thousand to two thousand could be done in a day. They said, I think it's an exaggeration because by the time you do all this, you're a little tired because cutting through all the ribs and the ligaments and everything, that's a lot more. I assume the person's tied down and everything, right? No. No. They do this well. No, they can get up. Well, here's the thing. I'm to get comfortable. <laughs> no, it's not willingly either, but it's like I'd much rather do this than get tortured. Number one. Number two, you are doing it for the gods. <laughs> so if you don't do it in that stoic, oh, yeah. stiff upper lip way, <laughs> now you basically face the gods and you might face something even worse in your afterlife.